Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you'll probably know that I'm part of the Tailfin R&D division. Um, and as a result of that, I get to use loads of really cool prototype bags. One of the biggest questions I've been getting asked over the, the last couple of years is when are the prototype Tailfin bar bags going to be available for production? And the answer is now. So in this video, I'm just going to run you through the new bar bags and show you all the information. There are two versions of the Tailfin bar system and this one is the drop bar version. There's also a flat bar version. I'll come onto that in a while. Um, but essentially the differences are um, the shape. So the, uh, the drop bar one is designed to fit within the hoods. So it's got a bit more of a compact fastening system um, with like a, a buckle um, kind of arrangement. Um, and also the shape is slightly more kind of oval rather than round. So the idea is you can get the volume sort of in between the, the bars and above the wheel. And with the X mount bracket, um, you can uh, move up or down to make sure there's enough space over the front wheel. So for reference, these bars are 44 centimeters. Um, I'm, I'm fairly well packed. Um, there's a hooded rain jacket, some rain trousers, and a hooded down jacket in here. They're not packed sort of overly tightly, but it gives you a bit of an idea of the volume um, of this particular bag. One of the cool features about the Tailfin bar bags, both on the, the drop bar and the flat bar version, is this mesh pocket on the front. And um, yeah, I've used it extensively. So I've used a prototype, a prototype of the drop bar uh, bag on the Japanese Odyssey this time last year. Uh, and I've used the, the mountain bike version for things like Silk Road, Highland Trail, and the most valuable aspect um, of this front pocket has just been to put food in. So normally I stock up with bars and snacks, put them in the front there, and then they're always at hand, nice and easy to get to, and then you can put the rubbish in the pocket in the front, or there's also a pocket behind the bag as well. Um, so you're not going to drop any rubbish, you don't have to put it in pockets. Um, and yeah, just nice and easy to manage everything. Another cool feature about the system is you can have accessory mounts um, so I've got my Wahoo mounted on the front of the, the clamp here and basically it keeps it up the way out of the bag you don't have to have it on your stem and you can mount things like GoPros, uh, lights, uh, anything else that uses a GoPro standard mount um, and yeah it just makes the whole system nice and neat. To take the bag on and off there's just a lever here so you open it up and then if I can do this one-handed it just comes off nice and easily it leaves the bracket in place and um, I found it really useful um, you know, when you've got like a standard traditional bar bag, it's normally a couple of straps. Um, you have to tighten them, loosen them. They can be a bit of a bit of a fiddle to take on and off. But with this, it just clicks on and off super easy. So if you're, say, going into a hotel or you just want to remove your bag for something, you know, taking your tent out or something like that at night, it's done in a couple of seconds. Um, and you know it's going to be in the right place in the morning. It's not going to move up and down. It's not going to swing down and touch your tire. It's not going to sag. And also, it's not going to get in the way of, a hand, of your hands on the handlebars when you're riding along. Now, you can see on the back of the bag, there's actually some hardware. Um, and there's actually an aluminium frame inside, so the bag is going to stay rigid, it's not going to sag like I said before. Uh, and the clamps are actually uh, bolted through the bag into the internal aluminium frame. So this holds everything nice and tight when it's clamped onto the bars. Uh, you can also see that there's a little air vent there, so you can really fold up stuff, uh, squash all the air out, uh, and make sure the, um, you know, everything you're carrying is, is as compact as possible inside. So this is called the Tailfin X-Clamp. Uh, the mechanism is very similar to the panniers and um, yeah, it's uh, really great. Like I said, I've used it extensively over the last couple of years and I've not had a single problem so far. Right, now we're on to the flat bar version of the Tailfin bar system. And as you can see, because of the, uh, the nature of flat bars, you know, the, the drops of a, the, the, the hoods of a drop aren't in the way. There's a bit more space either way. And um, as a result, the volumes are larger. So in the large sizes of both bags, the drop bar one is just under 12 litres. This is just under 20 litres, but then you've got all this extra capacity in the, the mesh pocket at the front. Um, so overall, you've got sort of 21, 22 litres um, on your bars. And it's more of a traditional roll top. So you can just roll it down, compress it up. There's the air release valve on there as well. Um, so yeah, this is, this is gonna be really good on your mountain bike. As I said before, I've used this in the Highland Trail on the Silk Road Mountain Race. Um, particularly the Highland Trail, there's lots of really rough single track, and this just stays in place. It doesn't buzz your tire, especially when you're on a suspension bike, when the, the, the fork compresses. Sometimes you can um, rub the bag on a tire, but with the X-mount system, you can lock it in place and it stays solid. Now, as I've already said, you do have the mesh pocket on the front here. And again, same as on the, the drop bar version, um, 
I've used this for food, especially things like Silk Road, where you need to take lots of food and you're very remote. Um, I basically stuff it full as I can, so almost three litres worth. It's, it's quite a lot of uh, chocolate bars and dry biscuits if, if, you're, uh, if you're in Kyrgyzstan. Um, and then it's always easy to hand. You could even put a rain jacket or something like that in there. Um, and quite often I end up clipping my sunglasses just under the strap if I don't want to wear them. It keeps them off your head. Um, so yeah, really, really useful. Again, the construction is the same as the drop bar, drop bar bag. Um, so there's the aluminium frame within the bag itself. And then the X clamp uh, is, well, this is exactly the same one as I use on the, um, the drop bar bag. One of the great features about this system that is probably more prevalent on a mountain bike is the fact that it holds the bag off the head tube. With a traditional bar bag, it can rub on the, on the head tube. And I've just lost count of the amount of head badges I've worn through amount of frames have had to be repainted because the bar bag's just been rubbing on there for an entire trip. Um, so yeah, on a mountain bike, that makes a huge difference. And you know, it might be a bit more expensive to buy, um, but it's a lot cheaper than destroying your bike. So there we have it. That is a quick roundup of the new Tailfin bar bag system. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you want to find out more about the bags or buy them and get all the specs and the weights and all the volumes and things, check out the Tailfin website. I'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.